good morning as this week comes to an end let us uh, try to discuss what uh, did we discuss over uh, email note and uh, gradually what we are going to discuss in the coming topic this is for the subject curriculum hu601 principles of management and in chapter 8 module 3 the topic for today is national income accounting what is national income accounting it's a bookkeeping system where value of all good and services produced in a country during a financial year are recorded please keep in mind national income accounting as the name suggests it's for a particular nation for a country during a financial year which commences on 1st of april and ends at 31st march like the current financial year commenced on 1st of april 2020 and will end on 31st march 2021 national income accounting is usually measured by gdp gross domestic product it is an ultimate and most widely used result it is an um, it's an income and expenditure approach where we are trying to figure it out what's the national income and simultaneously what's the national expenditure in terms of consumption so gdp is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m i repeat gdp is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m what is c c is consumption or expenditure the entire consumption of goods and services that is happening in the country when i say goods we mean material things like pencil box pen cell phones everything services are like medical service education and all that then comes investment i stands for investment i is a gross investment of private like say for instance if you are earning 10000 rupees and 2000 rupees you are saving in a bank that's your private investment so i stands for that gross investment private investment g is government investment government invest and uses it in a contingency situation like you could see the pandemic that we are going through the center and the state government both are donating funds to the required people health services are being taken care of. so that is the utilization of government investment then in bracket you have x minus m why because no country exists in vacuum you know they have we have a connection with other countries as well like india supplied medicines during this situation to america so x stands for export and m stands for import whatever you are exporting or you are sending outside of the country that amount is to be deducted from the amount that has been imported and then you get your gdp so gdp stands for c plus i plus g plus x minus m that was all about national income accounting then let's move on to the next topic of chapter 8 which is on what is the financial functions and goals of an organization broadly there are four functions of a financial of an of the finance department of an organization firstly to acquire funds without acquiring fund how will a organization work this fund can be both share borrowed capital and owned capital borrowed capital is when an organization takes a loan own capital is preference share capital equity share capital if you remember in previous semester we had economics for engineers hu501 was the code there we discussed this balance sheet so and we have said that acquiring of fund don't worry we'll again do a revision because the same thing as a financial ratio is a part of your topic in hu601 as well so acquiring um, funds is the first financial goal then second is effective utilization of fund things which will be very good to invest invest like say for instance today if somebody wants to invest on tourism industry it will not be a good suggestion because people will not at least for 2 3 months people will not think of travel and it will take time at least a year for the travel industry to come back to its next step so investing on travel industry now would not be a good suggestion so effective utilization of fund 
third op objective is reducing the cost of fund cost of fund in the sense interest when you're taking a loan you remember you have to pay interest the bank or your lender doesn't give you to you to for free so have we have to reduce the cost of fund that's the third goal fourth goal is maximization of day-to-day uh, -day, uh, earnings and if possible minimizing the cost why am i saying minimizing cost because cost should not be compromised with uh, quality fine so that that should be very important so basically a finance department of an organization has these four goals which i repeat is acquiring fund secondly utilization of fund third reducing the cost of fund and fourthly maximizing day to day profit and minimizing cost to know or to maintain all those things or to keep a track whether the fund uh, utilized properly or not that's the reason a financial department or uh, the organization to that matter emphasizes on financial statements which for you includes profit and loss account and balance sheet we'll do that discussion in the coming week thank thank you